Oh, my hair is an absolute mess. That looks very yellow. All right, let's try it over here. Okay, so Nash and I just went to dinner. Ooh, white like a ghost. So Nash and I just went to dinner, and we decided we wanted to go to the Guild because Nash wanted to go there. It's on her food list. That's Nash, by the way. Turn around and smile. Um, so she wanted to go to the Guild, and we really felt like it. And Carrie's gone home, and Marissa is, or was, at Shabbat. So it was just the two of us. And we were both sitting down here in sweatpants and pajamas, like, at the table. And she just goes, ooh, they have steak frites. And I was like, all right, let's go. Um, so we, like, redid our lives, literally, our makeup in, like, five minutes. We go, casual, sit down. I look across the bar. It's one of my students. Let me just talk about how awkward that is. <laughs> I feel like Monday, I, he really is going to come up to me and be like, Miss Robinson, I saw you out drinking. So I'm going to be like, I had a martini with my roommate and steak frites because I was hungry. Um, but yeah, so that was fun. Um, tomorrow, awkward enough, we're going to another student's family's business. So, they own a bakery called August 1st, and we're going to go, because we really want to, and it's going to be so good, and I really wanted to try it, plus I told my student that I promised, I promised him I would go, so we're going to do that uh, at 8.30 in the morning on a Saturday, because that's what college kids who have no lives do. Yeah. We really, we legitimately, straight. Yeah, we legitimately don't have any lives, do we? <laughs> um, and then, what are we doing? Oh, Sunday, we're gonna go to um, Cold Hollow, which is by far like one of my favorite <laughs> places to go in Vermont, <laughs> the cider mill. So, I'm gonna go bring my camera then so we can vlog that trip because that's gonna be so funny. I like this, it's so nice out. So, we are off to Cold Hollow. Nash and I. We tried to get Marissa to come with us, but she has to do homework because she didn't do it yesterday. Me, who spent five hours in a coffee shop doing homework. And you, did you do homework yesterday, Nash? I did do homework yesterday. Nice. <laughs> All right, so we are gonna go to Cold Hollow because I need to get something for someone who wrote me a letter of recommendation. And we're so excited. It's like one of my favorite places to go. Oh, not Ooh, vlogging in the parking lot. Um, but yeah, catch up with you when we're So we just left Cold Hollow with donuts and an apple poster, an apple poster and hot milled cider. And even though it's springtime, it's April, it feels like a nice crisp fall day. So like hot milled cider is exactly what we want in life. And that's exactly what we need. So we are going to now go to, are we going to Cabot? What? We're going to Cabot, right? We're going to go to Cabot and Mad River Distillery. So we're going to go drink. I was just saying to Nash, I like the new Cold Hollow bag because if you, yeah, flip around. If you didn't know, if you've never been to Cold Hollow in Vermont, it's in Waterbury. It used to be just a plain bag, but I'm really liking the legendary cider donut aspect of it. And whoever this weird dude is, um, how are the donuts? So fucking good. Are they as good as the ones in New York? Okay. These are delicious, but they're not sugar covered. Okay. So this is the debate that we have. The Cold Hollow is like our, one of our favorite places to go and it's not very far. It's actually in the state of Vermont. They do their donuts on site and everything and it's really good. Excuse me, I just need to open this, get some sunshine in my life. Um, but there is a place in upstate New York 
just over the border of Vermont, New York, um, in like the northern part, that makes really good donuts. And they are cinnamon sugar coated, which Cold Hollow, just because your donuts are so good, like they're like on par, but they're not cinnamon sugar coated. So I really would appreciate if they started doing that, but they are good. Um, also, hot milled cider is really all you need in your life. Honestly, I mean, throw some, uh, I wonder if Mad River has like an apple cider flavored vodka. Mm. I feel like a Vermont distillery would have a like apple, iconically apple flavored thing. Cause if you're not from Vermont and you didn't know this, apples are like the thing. That's like one of the major things that they make in Vermont. So yeah, this is Cold Hollow Cider Mill. It's super cute. It, in the fall, you can do stuff behind this Subaru. They have orchards. I don't know if you can go apple picking here. I've never been apple picking here. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful day out. And we are going to continue on our little journey. So we just went into Cabot, um, I feel a little bit in there, and then we went into the, what's it called, Mad River? Oh, Smug's Notch, it's Smuggler's Notch, because there's a couple of mountains up here that have a bunch of different distilleries. And now we're gonna go into Lake Champlain Chocolate. This is this weird little spot off of whatever, Route 100 in Waterbury, that has like Cabot, um, it's got Cabot, Smug's, and Lake Champlain Chocolate. So now we are going in here. I have been in here. Oh, it's over here, Nash. And it's really cool. What did you oh, just say, Nash? This is cool. What did you just say? You I feel, feel like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> That's funny because look where we are. That's all candy, by the way. What is this? This is their like bean to bar. Oh my god, that's so cool. Oh my god, look at their cocoa butter. This is really cool, guys. This is way better than the ones we've been to beforehand. Ooh. Organic milk chocolate. Dark chocolate truffle. These are my favorite. My mom used to get these for me when I was a little kid. I mean, I still do get them because I am a little bit of a kid. How overwhelmed are you to be in this? So overwhelmed. There's so much chocolate everywhere. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we just got out of Lake Champlain. How awesome was Lake Champlain next? It was so awesome. It's way better than the one. If you're ever in Vermont and you go to the one on Church Street, which is in like downtown Burlington, it, this one's way better. It's just bigger. There's more room. I think there's more stuff too. Yeah. Um, yeah. So now we're going to go home, I guess? No, we're going to the car wash, but we're going to take Route 2 home. Unless you want to go to the greens place that makes like really good salad. <laughs> There's this like farm place on the way back that makes really good salad, but I'm kind of craving my uh, cider that's in the car. So I'll have Nash film a little bit on route two, I think, and then the car wash. So I just asked Nash to remind me that when we get out of the car to get all the trash out of my car, let's just take stock of what's in this in big blue right now. So we've got Bath and Body Works and Sephora bags that have been in there for like two weeks and they've been down here just hanging out. There's a coffee cup and some garbage in there. And um, I'm not really sure what else is in this car because I have, I drive a lot of people to work. So they all leave shit in my car. I'm sure the back of my car is coffee spilled all over it because David likes to spill his coffee all over my fucking car and then not clean it up. So, but yeah, now we're gonna go. Now she's eating another donut because they're really good. Mm -hmm. Trust me, you guys should all go. I'm gonna pop this open because we're gonna go slow. 
there it goes. I kind of want a car with a moonroof. What do you think? It's a moonroof. Where it's like all glass. Oh. And like yeah. parts of it open, but like the whole what thing is like check? generally glass. It's still warm. Good. Yeah. All right. So now we are going to leave Waterbury. Do I remember how to get to Route 2? Mm -hmm. I just go past the exit, I think. I think I just go past the way to get on and then turn right. I go north, basically. It runs parallel to 89. I should be able to find it. Hopefully. Maybe we'll get lost and this will turn into like some Cloverfield incident. But, all right. All right, I got it. Yay. I love that this is now fully restored because I love bridges like this. I decided to come to Costco because um, I want to get some pierogies but I forget that Costco on a Saturday and a Sunday is never ever a good idea and when I say never ever I mean where the fuck are we gonna park like that's just a legit <laughs> question that we have to answer now so ooh, we could park next to this old couple run them over it takes so long to get in their do you see anything down that aisle Spot spotted. Oh yeah. Uh, actually, there's a lot of spots. Nice. Relative. Spot spotted. Okay. So, less panic than I should have been. But, this is never, ever an easy place to park. And hold on, my parking job. Okay. So, decided to go to Costco. Great idea. It's really nice out, actually. I'm kind of excited that we're doing all this fun stuff today. But, ooh, I need to get my Costco card out. So again, great idea to come to Costco. Ooh, farm fresh tomatoes, just like you wanted. Dude, I think it's Sunday red, no sample day. Oh, there's samples there, and there's red grapefruit, and there's something over there. This is exactly, ooh, the red grapefruit cups. That could potentially be something for... Okay, guys, if anyone ever goes to Costco and gets these, they should, because these are the best. Yeah, I know they're not homemade, but they're still good. Oh, are there samples over here? Signature berries. And you can make pies, you can bake with it, smoothies, Let's go down. The rest is dog food, Nash, and I'm not giving you samples of dog food. It's just a bad idea. Sounds like a terrible idea. Oh my god, that's like potato chips. 